Okay, this is going to be a very quick, down and dirty, me holding the camera and trying to explain it all tutorial of the Marine P-41 pack system. Um, for those of you lucky enough to have seen the P-41 pack manual, it's um, pretty complicated, like assembling a stereo from scratch with a soldering iron and having to do all the details yourself. It's not a sort of specific and most copies the pictures are pretty worn out so it's kind of hard to tell exactly it's telling you to do but um, I think I figured it out I'm gonna put this up uh, if you have any critiques or um, if I did it blatantly wrong and you want to uh, point that out please do and I'll see about updating and putting another version on um, today we'll be assembling what I believe is the light marching or uh, yeah light marching pack um, I'll have to double check that, but uh, it's with the bedroll. Um, you're going to need your P-41 haversack already packed with all the items you need inside it. I'm using a poncho to simulate the bedroll. I do not have a shelter half. Um, two P-41 suspenders that you can see here. And whatever you're using is a cartridge and or pistol belt. I'm using a BAR belt because that's what I'll be utilizing at the next event, hopefully. Alright, the first thing you need to do is my particular set came from at the front and for some reason they include an extra set of snap hooks uh, on the suspenders here and they'll probably be attached right here you need to take those off and then when you do that you also need to take the suspender itself the buckle will probably be facing uh, up along the entire strap this hole here you need to make that actually face downwards so if the strap was laid out flat like this the buckle is like that if you flipped it around um, and then simply all you're going to do there uh, to start off is to take your P41 straps. You got this gigantic ring which actually is utilized quite heavily during this whole process. But you're going to want to attach your belt or your suspenders to your cartridge belt. Um, thinner guys, uh, even in the pack manual, it recommends to attach here. Um, you can attach them over here if you're somewhat larger at the at the stomach. I'll do the other side. Uh, it's best to have your hooks facing outwards. As you can tell, it's the back of the belt. The hook will be out here. Um, I found no real way of actually making sure they retain and stay there. But, um, you just kind of got to keep an eye on them, keep hooking them up as you go. Alright, now what you're going to do is take your strap, notice how it's laid out, buckle out this way. You're going to take it through the ring, hard to do one handed. And then bring it back up through itself at the strap support right here. You're going to want to feed everything, including the buckle, all the way through. And, of course, my camera is not paying attention to it. It keeps dragging down. And it's very, very difficult to do one-handed. As you can tell, I'm using the two-handed method. And it's pulling through. Now you've got it looped onto your belt here. And you do the same for the other side. You're going to want to ensure you don't get it twisted up. Uh, the manual says something about making twists and stuff in it, quarter turns and whatnot. I found that whatever I did worked and I didn't need to put any strange amounts of twisting or anything into it. And it's going to go dark again. Alright, now you've got your suspenders of the pack loop through. You're going to want to take your free suspender ends and you feed the snap hooks through the pack like so. It has open it tabs on the bottom here. You're just going to feed them up and through it. Actually, uh, time to point out a wonderful mistake. Um, if you leave the suspenders on the outside, like so, 
uh, on the outside of the actual uh, pack suspender it's going to want to curl over and that just won't do uh, it's actually not the first time I've had that happen so you want to make sure that when you are assembling this that you have your P41 suspenders on the inside of the ring like this then feed your snap hook and of course I did the same thing on the other side but now that I recognize it we'll fix that assembling the entire large pack you would include your knapsack the lower piece um, you would pretty much attach it with the coupling strap to the upper pack and assemble as normal except for you feed your straps, your P41 suspender straps through the bottom of your knapsack and then um, you'll pretty much follow it the same from here. Now you'll have to flip your rig over and you've got both suspender bits poking out right here. Now the reason why I mentioned that you should have a fully packed pack is that you will adjust all your suspenders based on uh, the size of everything. All right, you want to make sure you don't have any twists. I think I do somehow. But anyways, you're going to take your suspender straps, bring them up across your e-tool in a cross pattern, and then you'll take from what I've seen underneath your poncho and bedroll you're going to bring your suspender strap the buckle the free end through here pretty much it's going up and over itself and then this tiny hole does serve a purpose because your snap hook simply snaps right into that and then you do the same for the other side camera lanyard in the way. All right, this is how it should be. I don't know why the other one's flipped upside down. I may have assembled something upside down, but I'm only doing this so you guys have the general gist of how this is supposed to go together. And now when you pick the whole thing up, you'll notice that the rig almost supports the pack freely on the uh, on its own. Um, it actually does. is the one of the few good points of the design of the system, but um, is that the pack almost free hangs in its own little area and it evenly distributes the weight across your cartridge belt and then you'll want to attach this which I have to do two handed then you are ready to actually put it on and adjust your straps adjusting at the buckles will increase the amount of distance right here out at the front um, so for taller guys that need their belt to hang, their cartridge belt to hang lower, uh, let a lot out of this. Um, as you can tell, it's not quite tight on this load. I had it fit, set up for a actual loaded pack, um, so it's really loose. But you tighten these up until they fit around your pack. Um, and after that, it's really simple. Um, you could even do this without the bedroll attached, and then attach your bedroll later. Um, One of the things I found that works best is uh, when you need to actually get in to get your things, you don't have to totally disassemble this. All you have to do is undo your snap hooks for your suspenders, throw your suspenders off, and then you'll actually have free access to the pack. Um, probably most Marines would have uh, ditched the whole large arrangement um, when they went into combat. If they did wear it, they wore the whole thing. Um, your suspenders are also great because they double as a supporter for your cartridge belt you just don't put them on, uh, if you don't delete the pack you can leave your suspenders on as normal take your cross hooks and the manual shows you to pretty much cross them over in an X across your back and button the snap hooks here um, so that's my down and dirty tutorial uh, it probably uh, hopefully gets the gist of how you need to put the pack together uh, other than that if there's any uh, critiques about if I did anything wrong but uh, from what I found wearing it and trying it on and fitting it uh, it does seem to work the way it was intended. Uh, thank you, and uh, please comment.